exist. I'm a registered nurse based here in Richmond, Virginia. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak this morning. So I've worked as a nurse in abortion care for three and a half years. Throughout that time, I've helped thousands of women and families access the critical reproductive health care they need, including STI treatment and testing, cancer screenings, contraception, and safe legal abortions. As a medical professional, ensuring the health and safety of the women I treat is my absolute top priority. I'm here because the current restrictions on Virginia's women's health do not do this. According to the CDC, abortion is more than 99% safe, and less than 0.3% of abortion patients in the United States experience a complication that requires hospitalization. There are dozens of common medical procedures that are considered to be very safe, but that are actually still riskier than abortion, including colonoscopies, oral surgery, and childbirth. Furthermore, as high-quality medical providers, Virginia's women's health centers have rigorous standards and training for staff and are constantly evaluating and incorporating new research in the field, new technologies, and relevant feedback from medical experts and associates to continue improving their practices. The restrictions before you today are medically unnecessary, plain and simple. When you think about it, the quantity of parking spots, covered entrances, and the specific types of water fountains as dictated in these regulations have very little to do with actual patient care. That's why these restrictions are opposed by an overwhelming majority of my colleagues in the medical community, including the Virginia chapter of the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists and the Medical Society of Virginia. Instead of helping the women and families of Virginia, these regulations endanger women's health by closing high-quality women's health centers and cutting off access to the critical reproductive health care that Virginia women need. If left unchanged, these regulations will severely and negatively impact the health of the patients that I have the opportunity to see every day. Please amend the current regulations to reflect medical best practices and ensure patient safety while protecting women's access to